poem by Owen. This is actually the first ever poem ever read out by him, so this is going to be kind of nerve-wracking. I better not mess this up. It's an absolutely beautiful piece. I got it off his website, which you should check out, and you should donate to, which I'm sure you already have. And um, every time I read it, I got a completely different aspect of it, so it's absolutely gorgeous. It's called The Stream, First Encounter. I sway over the stream with one foot on a rock and study with my eyes the dips, the flows, the dives, the broken branches, the riddering rocks, even the weeds, old brothers of a single dream, sing to me for a stream. My head begins to bow into the darker deep when suddenly it catches me riding the dips tangled in the weeds. A feather dancing in the sea, a forgotten star betrayed to gravity. And what are we but feathers caught within a stream? Thank you. Thank you. This is a very short one, um, blinking your message. Um, it's a secret, like I never read out the whole old version. So uh, maybe you might get the full opportunity to hear it tonight, we'll see. Secret. As fragile as a helicopter seed, a soft white albino moth dances its own silent motor and can't decide to land on the ear's helix or the skin behind or flying to the drum and kiss a whisper of a Thank you. I didn't forget the lyrics, that's, that's intentional, I, I swear it. It's one more. This is called Remain, and uh, I wrote this while I was coming back from Porto, and uh, it's a very good poem for uh, tonight. And thank you to Owen's friends and family for doing this sort of scholarship. It's very admirable, very awesome, and just thank you so much. Remain. I tore a leaf of my shadow, folded it and hid it under this step. The sun finally burnt the sky to an evening red. It would soon go as black as starless night into the bell tower that looks like the remains of Goliath's index, crested with dusty chews, pointed to the heavens. You must ascend the copper steps inside, even if the confined walls increase and twist and turn to you feel you need to crawl. You must climb closer to the bells and go beyond the bells. And as you do, count your head 232 and stop. Recovering at the step just at the top, before you step up and see what's beyond, you just see Porto's structures alight below, showing man-made constellations in its architectural brilliance. As you sense the city buzz, it soothes you. It's not silent. But your senses behave like they do when they hear ocean waves. I left my shadow just at this place, at the brim of the step, just by the top. So when you visit, you remember that though by sight they fade, somehow footsteps still remain. Thank you so much.